Hey, this is Fun University 112, the spin-off show of Craft Roulette 112. We're going to do some card talk tonight. All right, let's get started. Hi, I'm Mary Gunn. Welcome to Fun University. Hello, I'm Mary Gunn, Mary Gunn Fun, founder and head professor of Fun University and your intrepid hostess of Craft Roulette, which this is not. But Craft Roulette is the ultimate paper crafting card making game show challenge, which we do every Friday night at 6.30 over on our sister channel, youtube.com slash craft roulette. It is fun over there and it um, we've done it for over two years and it's just a lot of fun. I've met most of the people that are in the chatterboxes tonight in that group and i am very very grateful for that um ability and that opportunity anyway we don't teach on craft roulette we just have fun we have a craft guest crafter and we talk a lot <laughs> and then we take something some aspect of that last show and bring it over to fun university tonight not so much you know it's kind of like i heard i say we're going to do all these things and then i change but that's part of my charm allure i don't know but it is certainly part of my personality so welcome chatterboxes looks like you have um had some hot days Ugh, yikes and um we had one well so so anyway we're supposed to get storms tonight it's all part of being spring here in the united states isn't it um if you are watching on replay Please let us know that you are have been here and say something nice. Just say something nice. Say something nice about yourself if you want. Say, hey, I'm a great person, and just say it about yourself. Tell us what you like about card making and why you're good at it. Um, we would like to know all those things, wouldn't we, guys? Yeah, you guys are all good card makers. What we're going to do tonight, we have a... Um, we have a guru in our group. His name is Mr. Producer. He just had a birthday, and he received lots of wonderful cards. And so we're going to go over those. I do have a little drawing lesson for you tonight and a card to make. And I also have a whole lot of um, cool mail to go through with you. And I have a little card scrapbook to show you. So if any of those things sound interesting, hmm, stick around. We'll see what we came, what we can come up with. So, episode 112 had Julie Carrier, the great Julie Carrier, and she brought a friend with her. She brought R2-D2 to sing happy birthday to Mr. Producer. It was, you just never know what's going to happen on these shows, and that was, a, that was quite a delight. We had four parameters to make our cards. You can go to craftyroulette.live and see over a hundred beautiful, beautiful cards using these four parameters. And they were a card with two folds. It's just, it's not hard. It's fun. Um, flowering fields were our colors. And so that when you open up the gallery, it's just full of beautiful colors. Bowl or bowls were our elements. And I'm going to talk about that in just a second. And then off center was our random. That, um, just FYI, file that one away. Uh, if you haven't, if you don't use off center and asymmetry, sometimes it's just a really great little design trick to make a card more interesting um, and a little less predictable. Should we say that? I like symmetry a lot. I have a hard time going off center some days, but other days it's just natural. So I don't know, but just file that one away in your little um, design, your design gland in your brain, your well kissed brain, and because it is a good little design tip. Um, bowls. Okay, let's talk about those bowls. My gosh, you guys, what you did to bowls will never, never, we'll never be able to do bowls again because you did all the bowls, I think. Except for one, which I'm going to do tonight, a little drawing. <laughs> so, see, you want to know what it is? We'll find out. We had a lot of kitchen bowls. We had ice cream bowls. We had an entire kitchen, Marie Bland put in. Uh, we had cherries and bowls, fairies and bowls, dirty bowls, uh, fish bowls. Uh, fish bowls that were shakers. There was a shark fish bowl. There were puffer fish shark or fish bowls. People who were licking bowls. Uh, there even was a picture of a husband <laughs> in the, in the um, contributions this time. Wasn't there Brenda Anderson, who is a new patron? 
There were pipe bowls, a bowling pin, and there was even a bowling alley. If you haven't been over there to see that um, card by Kathy Jackson, it is absolutely worth a look. We had handmade bowls. We had stamped bowls. We had Arlene did a hand-drawn bowl. By the way, Mr. Mike is wearing a brand new shirt by our the House of Detizio, her, his favorite designer, along with a little gnome because she is so fun. And then because, uh, because we could, he did put on his his sweater from Mary Ann Hill in the UK. So he's all dolled up. It's too hot for a sweater, but. He's just Mr. Mike, and he doesn't care. Anyway, we had hand-drawn bowls. We had a bowl of Campbell's soup, didn't we, Ellen Card Monkey Jarvis? We had dog bowls, cat bowls, gumball bowls. <laughs> it's hard to say. Bud bowls or flower bowls. We had bird baths. We had bird nests, which is a bowl shape with Patty Beck and her 107th contribution in a row. We had pottery bowls and toilet bowl. Yes, we even had a toilet bowl and some terrarium bowls. Um, just a sec. I get all choked up thinking about all those bowls. You really did do a beautiful, beautiful job. So kiss your brain if you uh, were here and did send in a card. If you didn't send in a card and you're a not a patron, you still can. Just by joining our patron society, um... Society? I've never called it that before. That does sound so much more aristocratic, doesn't it? Maybe we get invited to the Jubilee. Anyway, um, the patron, we have a new goal. We are at 74 patrons right now, and we are hoping to get to 100. So we have, we're going to have a party when we get there, because we are party people. Mm -hmm. And if we get there before... The calendar turns to June here in Missouri. We're going to have a party, a Zoom party, and Mr. Producer is going to show up. So if you have a friend that's been on the fence going, oh, I don't think I want to be a patron, there is so much there's so much fun going on over in the patron blog, and we're going to have more fun because we're going to have a party, maybe with Mr. Producer. All right, let's get down to the paper cam. You've heard enough of me. Let's, yes, the Craft Roulette Patron Society. We have to say it with a rather erudite. Let's get, let's cut this stuff out and get going. All right. All righty, right, right. This was the card that Arlene Dizio sent to me. Uh, was it just, yes, that was today, just with, with the beautiful house of Arlene, house of Dizio design for Mr. Mike. Thank you so much. You are a thoughtful woman and you're hilarious too. Really great. Lisa Welpley sent in a really pretty little card. It's stenciled. I love stencils. They're so soft. With a nice little hello that asks for a little of attention. I like how you did that. She said she accidentally ordered a couple things extra. So she sent them to us to add to our goodie bags, which I did send off today. If you want a goodie bag last Friday, you, you could get it this week before the show. Super great. We pr really appreciate all the goodies that our patrons send us because we send them on. And um, we just give them away. It's... I'm keep a couple <laughs> and then we send most of them away it's quite fun to be able to do thank you thank you miss lisa De not detizio lisa Wilpley. andy zach sent me a craft roulette card sample which i thought was adorable look at this this is something i couldn't tell uh, this was a couple weeks ago when we had books as the element this is something i couldn't tell on the on the show or on the contribution she actually made a little book it's got pages, actual pages. And then she's got a little stack of scrapbook supplies. Scrapbook for dummies, <laughs> she even has in there. And then she's got several years in a line. Anyway, it's it was really cute, Andy. And I really appreciate it. Yep, you, you are a very nice woman, and thank you so much. I've uh, got a couple things from Lynn Sanders to put in our goodie bag. I'll just pull them out. So you can see what kind of things we do get in our goodie bags. Generally, there's a stamp set and a couple other things. I try to make it super fun. There's some embossing folders. 
Nice. A beautiful, a beautiful um, die set. Woo, that's pretty. Some filler. <laughs> Lovely. Best filler I've seen all day. Some little um, stickers. Cute. Some more stickers. Cute. Some more. Oh, more to come. That was this one. And then some little, oh, those are fun little things to get, aren't they? And a nice little stamp set. That's adorable. So she also sent me a cute little card. Yeah, I think this one may have been a craft roulette card, too. We have so many cute craft roulette cards. Oh, there's another sticker. So these will be going out to our fun, our winners of that show up on craft roulette and send in a card. That's how you end up getting prizes with craft roulette cards. Oh, man, that was already off to the big races there. I did want to show you a couple months ago, it was my birthday and I got so many beautiful, beautiful cards. I know in the itty bitty stamp set, so cute, Cordelia. I, I did something I've never done before. And that was, I punched holes in them, and I made them so they face each other. So instead of a card opening like this, I cut it in half, punched holes like on this side, let's see, this side, these two, and this side, so that they face each other. So the car, this card now can be seen i can see who wrote what and uh the card that goes with it and so it's kind of, and it's i thought it was kind of a fun thing to do i'm not gonna but see how cute so now i know kim did that and i don't have to and i was what are you gonna do with these cards they were just too stinking beautiful to file away so now i have them in a little book form and i can enjoy them and get, and if or any time I think, oh, why do I do this? <laughs> I can just pull these out and go, oh, because everybody's so nice. So there's the outside, the front, and there's the inside. This one got a little, this one I just ended up using like that. But I opened it today because these are the kind that open in half and open and want and uh, split apart and then you add on to them so I wanted to do that again except something bigger because these were kind of these were kind of little so I went to Lowe's and I got the wrong kind these are the kind that um, split key rings they say well to me this is split where you open it up but to these guys I they are this is the kind where you have to slide everything around well that's not going to work for that little book but, um, so now I have all these. Now I'm going to have to make some key rings or something. So, anyway, I have four of them. So, be careful. If you want to do something like that, look carefully to see if they've got the hinge and the opening rather than just the, I don't know what it is, the slide, the, the disappointing slide. Uh, not the electric slide, but the disappointing slide. And it, But it says, say, split key ring. So, I already opened them. That's the way it goes. I'm sure I'll find something. But I love... I love that I have these little books. My little scrapbook of cards. It's just fun. There's this one. Goes with this. I think this one goes with... Some of them do... Okay, there's one. Um, this one was by Sharon Castor, which I, I think life may be really hard for her right now. So uh, I need to send her a card. But she... Um, this one was a double-sided note. So that one is like that. So this not a... You know, like, oh, it's got to be this way or that way. It doesn't. Hilda Nell. I saw her on uh, Christine's show last night. Anyway, there's, uh, I enjoy them forever that way. And I have a little basket of them, and they're really easy and fun to pull out and, and be happy. Let's look at Mr. Producer's card, shall we? Whew. Try Dollar Tree. Yeah, I should try reading and looking carefully before I buy. It's, um, I, I'm, I don't buy well. I'm a I'm a bad shopper, so I buy wrong things. That's why I'm real good at it. <laughs> so anyway, that's these are, um, look at that. You guys were so nice to him. I was like, here, you got some cards? And he was like, really? You got some cards? Yes, yes, he did. And you can send us a card, too, at Mary Gun Fun. He got them, too, Mr. Producer. 
<laughs> and we got them. Well done, huh? I liked it. Uh, Mary Gun Fun, Mr. Producer, care of uh, P.O. Box 480-566-4 KCMO 64148. That does go to the best post office in Kansas City out there in Martin City, Missouri. So I told him I gave him a shout out last um, Friday and I'm doing it again. They said they have several people on TikTok that give them shouts out, so they deserve it. They're great. This one is from Lynn Sanders, and I thought this was a very, you know, okay, so if you want to talk masculine, what are we talking here? We're talking about fairly simple kind of design, but very pretty, and great dude cards, colors, but I like them too. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I watched, you watched Christine's show last night too? She's something else, isn't she? So, so life gets kind of busy for um, our guests sometimes. So, uh, and for this girl, and we get a little sloppy sometimes on our communication. So, I, <laughs> Christine and I, I sent her a thing, an automatic thing that said she was on the show Friday night, and uh, it was an automatic. I just had it wrong, and so I wrote to her and said, "Hey, you're not on the show." this Friday and she said oh okay good to know and you have me on for June don't you and I looked and I went no I don't have you on for June and uh but I do have you on for July so thought life gets a little busy for the, for us all but in yep yep we're gonna get her back she's a lot of fun like some of the details on here we've got a little bit of embossing that's really nice um you know here's a thing it's some green ribbon but it's not Fufu ribbon at all, but it, it works. We've got scallops. Could be could be feminine. Doesn't need to be. I thought that was a really nice card. Lynn, and thank you so much for thinking of him. Um, dotted the eye with a great big gem. <laughs> That's very fun. This is one of Patty Beck's uh, Craft Roulette cards out of her 107, did I say? Mercy goodness. Look at these stylized mountains that are just erupting out of the earth. And a uh, really cool card. Epic. That's all we, we all like to hear. We're epic, right? You're a star. And then she goes ahead and echoes, you're a star. But not only just here in the paper, look on the background here. You, know, I can probably come in just a little bit. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. I, yep, yep, yep. So, uh... If you look on the back there, she's got some embossed stars, and then she sanded them. <clears throat> it's white core paper, and so the little the little stars show up. That's a good idea, isn't it? Yep, I like it. And then she's got it double matted, so it worked with... I've got a feeling this is a printed piece, and, and it's probably 4 by 6 and um, she probably trimmed it down just a little bit. But it's flat, so I think it's a graphic piece, which is a great way to get a good card, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. And she even sent in some fun little epoxy stickers. <laughs> so it said, never grow up. <laughs> anyway, she's she's a nice gal, and we're really glad to have her hang out with us. I'll put these off to the side. There she is. So we just bragged about you, Patty. Here is a card from Lou Ann Johnson. She probably got it done during the show. But look at some of the cool details on this one, would ya? Um, so you've got the basic mat, which is a real pretty piece of cardstock or printed paper. But then she draws your eye in with this little vellum circle. And so you know where you're going to be. <laughs> That's right. You can always use more marbles. You know what, Patty Beck? He used to have a cat. Mr. Producer had a cat named Marbles, and um, darn if they didn't lose him. <laughs> so I can't remember the story quite, but yeah, he got sick, but he didn't. He was a good boy, and yep, they lost their marbles. So um, some little die cuts or something. They're real pretty little uh, leaves there. I like that they're different colors. It's quite fun. And then you've got this big George of the Jungle back there just smiling and being strong. Very fun card, Luann. <clears throat> but uh, great lines. You've got some nice placement of your embellishments. You've got a nice horizontal line there with all this vertical stuff and some diagonal things for playfulness. 
Plus, you've got that pull end with the um, vellum circle. So, well done. It's always horrible to lose a cat. Always. Mr. Kerwin spent the night outside. Boy, is he ever happy with himself tonight. He's just been so tired and just resting and enjoying being Kerwin. Um, this card is by Lisa Welpley, who also sent me a card earlier. We showed it. <clears throat> And uh, with some goodies. And this one's a really good card, too. Look at this. Um, we've got some embossing on the background. You know how you can do that. I had a cough. Is, well, where's that embossing folder? It's not hard. But sometimes if you haven't done it for a while, it sometimes goes, Oh, I forgot how to do that. But um, you just take the embossing folder... And put it on the part that you want to have the pattern. So that you don't do it on the back side. So that you don't get the pattern back there. Because <clears throat> it's going to be hard to write your note. So uh, <laughs> PETA sounds like a fun cat. Um, so you've got the really nice little birthday cupcake kind of feel there. And then a nice circle. You've got a, a little di or a horizontal line with some confetti. And I love a little confetti and sprinkles. And then just a little um, hanging down banner. So you've got lots of <clears throat> things that are all working together. The thing that pulls these guys together aren't the shape so much, but the color pattern. And they're all working together to make a real cohesive, nice feel. You've got a couple circles there, so you've got some playfulness of shapes and some difference. So you've got a lot of different things going on there, but it works together and it looks great. So, well done. Oh, we already showed this one. This one was from um, Biddy Penny, and she sent this to him as a thank you, helping for the show. So, anyway, I showed you that one a couple weeks ago, I think. <clears throat> Got this one from Cordelia, who is here tonight. Hey, Cordelia. And she said, look at, you, this is something, okay, so when I'm showing them here, it's something that you can't see on a photo. Look at that shine, would you? That has got some glitz to it, doesn't it? Um, even the silver is glitzy. I think it looks like you went over it with a pen, a metallic pen, which is very cool. Um, you use gold on your card this week, too. So I'm thinking you've got some tape or something. This feels like maybe it's a tape. I don't want to ruin the card. <laughs> but I think it's some kind of tape, metallic tape that goes across. You did a great job. Um, I like... And this is paper pieced. So that's really a nice little effect. It doesn't come open, but it's a, a nice effect. It almost looks like a, a flap that you would open up. But uh, well done. This was, a, this was a craft roulette card, and you're a classic. It, yes, 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 he is. Foil with tape, maybe. I don't know. Cordelia? <laughs> Curious minds want to know. Um, yep, yep, she just left that open so that he, he can use it again, which, you know, he doesn't make a lot of cards, so he probably will end up using this one again. You're way less wrinkly than I thought you would be by now, <laughs> so that's very funny, but that's really cute, and I love the ombre colors on that. That's really sharp. Nice job, Cordelia, and we'll look forward to seeing what you say it is. It's It's some kind of... It's some kind of tape. I don't know. It's pretty cool, though. I got to sell you. That's stenciled and then heat embossed. Okay, but now let's look at it again. It's stenciled and then heat embossed. That's a cool look. Think of other ways you could do that. You could use that as a background with some just leaves or flowers. Um, you could even do kind of a just not a not a real rigid line thing but just um some lines that are kind of uh chunk just random and do something pretty and then and then uh so it's not foiled i think you can get a lot of the foiling effects sort of with uh, um heat embossing and stenciling but not not yeah you didn't foil but it's beautiful and it just makes it so festive to have some shine, right? Katie Fowler sent Mr. Producer a cute card. Look at that. This is pattern paper. And then she's got 
some, it's like vellum that's printed. That's that's a nifty thing. A nice diagonal line there for some playfulness. And you've got lots of strong background with horizontal and vertical lines for strength and stability. Then you've got some nice little delicate doily type thing there. So you've got lots of variety of textures and patterns and lines and colors. And um, it's great. It's just great. This is a die cut and she did some paper piecing very nicely. Um, it's good. It's just real cute. Look at that paper piecing, would you? Right there. Even the little mouth. and I could never have kept that straight. It would have gotten stuck on my on my folding board, I bet. <laughs> anyway, it's really, really cute. Really cute, Katie. Thank you so much for thinking of him. Then we had one of our first Fun University students, Vicki Emerson, sent this very charming little card. She, this is some old paper. I know this because I had it. And it's a good paper, though. It's a nice, strong Co combined or coordinated paper and you've got you're picking it up and it just works really well there's some abstract strat blobs in that paper if you ever get abstract blobs you could use paper like this um it's just a classic good looking card nice and she does her craftsmanship's always very very good look she doesn't she's not a wonky tug card maker <laughs> she does it really pretty so um and then just a simple little it's your birthday and it looks good it just looks really good she pulled in a little scrap of paper probably and that's pretty neat this is and this is like a kind of a linen paper or something it's a, a nice cardstock for a little background and it's not just white but it has a nice kind of modeling to it and it's a sage green so that's cool I like that very much. Vicki, thank you so much. You've done so much for Fun University and Craft Roulette. You are a friend forever. This one, I believe, yep, Andy Zaxon in this. Now, this one is, this one's a cool little classic uh, dude card, I think. It's just, or nondescript card, but it's really great. It's kind of abstracty, but it gets really to the point with the happy birthday and you know exactly what kind of card it is there's no question about it at all she did ha she has a big old fat button on here and a little baker's twine um she did put oh uh, i don't have it with me but a little piece of like bubble bubble paper not not real fat bubble paper but a little piece of bubble paper over that so that it wouldn't so it would go through the machinery okay i don't think she did extra Nope, she didn't do extra postage or anything, so it must have worked. But real nice little splatters, not a, not near the camera, please, but nice splatters. Um, really just colored it in, looks like it may be watercolored even. It's kind of, kind of, uh, it's not real, real solid, but it looks great. It's in blue ink, blue ink, then a little bit of just interest right there with some some lines I, I think it was a really strong card i would like to remember this when i was would make a a fairly simple but effective card i think it's great have a wonderful birthday and many more to come she did um put this little piece in there and i think it can come off so he can use it again <laughs> yep sure enough so he did, she was thoughtful and sent this in there um, so he can use it again. So we'll probably just put, oh, look at there, Handmade for You by Andy Z, A to Z. And we'll just put that on the back for him because he'll probably use that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Then I thought this card by 5K was great. I like the design on it. You know, I like a good grid. And um, so I thought, well, let's make one of these tonight, except instead of this little guy, let's make a little fella with a bowl cut. Um, <laughs> Andy Zach, I love that it, this has become a look at masculine cards. Well, it really does. But masculine cards don't have to be, they don't all have to have fish or trees or uh, tools. 
they can just be very simple and to the point. <laughs> I think that's that's kind of a good thing for uh, masculine cards too. Simple and to the point. You know, they may not appreciate some of the the efforts we go to. But anyway, I, yes, I like these papers too, Mary Youngblood. Um, I thought that it looked really good, and so I have mine started right here. And these are one and a fourth inch squares. Um, totally could be punched. Mine are cut. I didn't make it so incredibly precise. Nobody's surprised by this, I know. But I started up here at the top. Put my little tiny T-square right here. Use some silicone glue and or whatever this is, the mono liquid glue because it doesn't dry so darn fast some of the glues um, are now wonderful but they dry so fast um, art glitter glue dries real fast so I wanted something that would squish so I did that and put the two end pieces on and then squish squished in this middle one with so that it could have a little space with a teeny tiny space the black mat is for by five and a fourth. The card base is four and a fourth by five and a half. So I got these three on, then flipped it over and put my T square right here, put the bottom two, the corners in. It's just like a jigsaw puzzle. Put the um, corner pieces in and then filled in the second two. Flipped it over again and did it put this guy on and then added, ended up putting that guy in. Uh, my cool green my cool green T square ruler. I got it on the uh, oh my gosh, it's old and I got it on the clearance rack at Michael's years ago. I wrote sup on the top because if if it's on this side it doesn't catch as well. So this side has a little lip. So I put sup so I know that this side goes up and then this is just washi tape because it's clear. And so what happens when you've got something clear and you're doing, you've got a million things going on on your desk, you can't find it. <laughs> so I put some really wonderful green. Oh, you were thinking this was green. Oh, I see. Very funny. Um, but I did put some green washi tape on it so I can find it. You like? Yeah, it would be pretty that way, wouldn't it? A prettier. There, there's a fancy one now with scrapbook.com, but it's got a fancy price too. So I will stick with my old guy. He's good, but I, it is tempting. Anyway, so we have this little square in the middle. I think the white square is two and a half inches, and it will fit just like that. Now, that's off center, so it works real well. I didn't put in the other parameters, such as mm, two folds. And what else was there? Two folds. Flowering fields. You could have those as flowering field colors. And my bowl, it will be my bowl cut. You know, I could make this a little, I could put an extra fold there, and then I would have two folds. Okay, so if my bowl cut guy looks good, I will put a hinge on there, and then I will have this, and it will work for, it really, it would. Or or I could do it this way, and cut, ooh, that's got a, some grossness on it. Okay, so what we're going to do, bowl cut guy, we are going to... How big do we want bowl cut guy's head to be? Let's make it this big so that I think that's okay. I think he's fine. Bowl cut hair guy is going to be this big. And then we'll write happy birthday above it. I'm going to move it just up a little bit. And my extraordinary pencil comes into play. Really soft little circle there. You probably can't see it, but it's there. Here's that little tidy circle. And then we're going to, about two-thirds of the way up, we're going to draw a line across. And you will see this in just a minute. I'll go over it with a fine tooth comb. Not really. And we're going to put a little space there. Okay. Now, my bowl haircut is coming into play.
There's his bowl haircut. There's his little bowl haircut face. A letter C and a reverse letter C for his little tiny ears, like my little boomer ears. I should color this in before I do this part, but I didn't. Okay. The number 11 for his neck. with the number 11 with little feet for his neck. Oh, you could make him really, like, really on little tiny legs, couldn't you? And have some little arms there. It'd be kind of freaky. A little, a little slot or a little tiny thing there. I'm not sure what we're going to call that. Some Humpties down to the bottom and there's your little boy now we'll get rid of these pencil lines oopsie give him some color because it is summer and he's been out I want to go a little slower around his eyeballs You could put glasses on him. Color in his little ears. If you are painting, ears are generally just a little bit red, more red than the face. If you're wanting to do a portrait. There we go. And we'll color in some hair. This is not supposed to be a great looking masterpiece. This is supposed to be pretty fun and sketchy. Actually, this looks a little bit like Mr. Professor or Mr. Producer when he was young. We did do a video of me cutting his his bowl cut. <laughs> He did take a magic marker into the bathroom to show me where he wanted this, how long he wanted the bowl cut to be. I was taking no chances. There we go. There he's got his little red t-shirt on. Go ahead and give him some ribbing for his t-shirt top. Which is just a parallel line, so to speak, except it's a circle. With some little tiny lines in it. His armpits. Oh, I know it tickles. And then we'll give him a big, how about an off-center grin? Just like my Uncle Kenny. There we go. And you can put his nose on if you want. I don't think I'm going to... Well, we'll put on a little nose. Just a little. A little letter C. If you can make a tiny letter C, you can make a tiny little nose. And then we'll just add a little bit of gray around him to set him off. I can talk and craft, but it's a little harder to talk and color and draw. <laughs> Even if it's simple. All right. That'll do. think it needs any edging. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> Crap, my gate, you're so funny. There we go. So looky there, it looks real good on there. And then you can just say, love you, thinking of you, happy birthday, you, um, whatever you'd like to. You can just write it, just write it poorly, <laughs> and then it'll look like a little kid's. 
<laughs> just write it poorly. Isn't that kind of a nice... Oh, so yeah, he turned out all right. So let's go ahead and make another fold, and then I will be legal. Because heaven help me, I know Deputy... Deputy Heidi is in the room. If you have never been to um, Fun University or Craft Roulette, we have a lot of traditions here. One is Deputy Heidi. <laughs> and so this one is two and a half by five folded in half. Let's see how that works. It may or may not work. It looks fine. Just fine. Now I'm going to have my second one. So because I did Copics, you can see through. So I think, well, since he did turn out cute, we can put it this way. We want to make sure we have... Oh, he did turn out cute. I like him. He does kind of look like Mr. Producer did. Grandma Gay, you can make this. You don't need me to make a stamp. You could make this guy. I just showed you how. So there you go. You could even put little words in here. Um, think of small stamps and whatnot that you could put in those little words or just write it. Write it poorly and it'll look like a kid wrote it. And um, you could put a little clasp on there. You, can, you know, you can get... You can get really ornate fast, but you could also do little bows, little ties, little sequins, little gems, um, little pictures of puppy dogs and bowls. <laughs> so anyway, I got the bowl cut for episode 112. I think that will work just fine. So thank you so much for sending in all these wonderful cards to Mr. Producer. I hopefully will get him to say something nice. Um, on Facebook or something or Friday night. Thank you 5k for your inspiration. I will give you some more information and some more samples I believe if you are a fun supporter on our patron group, the Patron Society. Um, and I'm stretching it. It's what I do best. Deputy Heidi, I stretch. <laughs> and um, what else? What else? Let's, let's look at the, all this stuff. Let's see what we've got. Let's give a shout out to our patrons. We've got some new ones. We are looking for 26 more. Hopefully by the end of May because we are going to have a party. We're going to have a Zoom call party for all patrons. <sighs> the last one was so much fun. And um, not everybody can show up and things like that. But it is wonderful. Thank you so much. We do have Scrapbook Game this weekend club fun members. So I hope to see many of you. Um, all the information is in our Club Fun Facebook group and on... Now, there's nothing that you probably need on the website. But, um, oh, that's nice. If you want to send in a card to episode 112, which entails... <laughs> which you would have to include a card with two folds, colors of flowering fields... Include bowl or bowls. You can do bowl cuts, too. I'd love to see you draw my little guy. It would be fun to see you guys do that. And then off-center. You can still do that as a patron at any level. And we do have wonderful patron benefits, including... I was pointing this out to the group today. Including something called... Something contribute or something in which you can do searches you can do searches for the people that have sent in cards you can ser do searches on topics um, it is your own pinterest board based on craft roulette and we have almost seven thousand cards so pay thank you andy zach um vault no, that's the parameter vault you can see all the parameters that we've ever had then there's contribute or something i don't know we also have a uh, bonus the retro bonus that you will get tomorrow, um, a new one for the patrons, and last week's for our Facebook friends. If you are not able to be a patron, don't worry about it. There are other ways that you can, and you love Craft Roulette and Fun University. That was, that's fabulous. Please make sure you like, share, 
subscribe to our shows and also to our uh, guest crafters. Those those kind of things all help everybody. Um, contr- contribution Explorer. There you go. You can. Ex- it's really cool. Have you tried it? It's really cool. Anyway, we're trying to make it a very, very, a very, very special place for our patrons because we do appreciate you so very, very much. But we also appreciate everybody just being kind and wonderful in our group on our Facebook. We have a wonderful Facebook show group. And um, do join us Friday night as we welcome Carrie Rhodes and see what's been exploding in her mailbox lately. She's a super talent and she's a super nice lady. So we look forward to having her come back on. Um, Anything else, you guys? I think that's it. Time to kiss our brains. Thanks for showing up, chatterboxes. I'm gonna read your, uh, your I'm gonna read your comments before I say goodnight to to my room. And thank you guys so much for being a part of our lives. We really, really love having you in in our world. Thank you. Bye bye. See you Friday next Tuesday on Fun University. Night night. <laughs>